What's up crew, happy 2021. Today I wanted to dive into, this is the first video of the new year, so I'm kind of excited about it because this one's a big one and it's very, very common and one of the most toxic habits that we can form, but we all do it and that's comparison. So I wanted to talk about the importance of why comparison is so harmful. Comparison literally is like creating your own false misery. And I'm gonna explain why. Because half the time when we're comparing ourselves to somebody or something or some, even just image of what we feel like we should be doing or how we should be living, is it's actually not real at all. So I'll give you an example. A lot of times when, when women, uh, specifically women, would compare themselves to me, they, they come in here with this image of how they think that I am and then I'm not that way. And so they're holding themselves to some standard that they made up in their mind, attaching it to me or somebody else. Here's the thing, I've done it too. I've attached some, some level of standard or image to somebody that I was role modeling or emulating and come to find out that that was not at all how they thought or how they lived or what they, what they held themselves to. Um, so the problem with comparing ourselves with others, especially in this day of social media is that we don't have all the facts. You have no idea what somebody's life is truly like outside of what they are willing to show you. And that goes the same for me too. Now I try to be very authentic and transparent about the ups and the downs, but you know, only my close circle of people in my life really see the intricate details of that and how I struggle or how I fall or and then how I rise from that, right? But the, my messages of strength and empowerment and truth and all of these things, but you know, there's a whole life that goes on outside of this. On top of that is when you're comparing yourself to somebody's life, you may not want to live the way that they live in order to get what they want. So it's important to be uber clear with yourself to say, what do I want? And if that's the life that you wanna live, you're gonna have to accept the good, the bad, and the ugly with that. And are you willing to do that? Instead, what most of us do, myself included, is I'm guilty of this just as much as anybody else. But instead, what some of us do, is we attach, we attach this, per, this image to somebody or some way of life that's dang near perfect and impossible to achieve. And then we get depressed that our lives or our blueprint or our bodies or our whatever, you pick it, doesn't match that. And so you're literally painting this false picture that you feel like you should match. Then when it doesn't match up to that, you're upset figure that one out. The crazy part is that all of us do this. This is like this weird cycle, right? So this is why I'm, I'm saying choose your role models carefully. Secondary is when you do choose your role models. Here's the thing is I'm lumping myself into this. Don't emulate everything that I do. You may not want to be who I am. You may not want to wake up at 3.30 in the morning every day and work 15 hour days. You may not want to eat very similar things every single day and stay on a, you know, a, a structured plan. That may not be for you. I love it. I found what works for me and that works for me in order to be successful at what I do and happy, that's the main thing, happy. But um, that may not be for you. So what I'm trying to say is be careful about who your role models are, who you're following, and then understand why are you following them. So if you pick a role model or somebody to emulate, why is that person somebody that you look up to? What are the qualities that they embody? Now, let's go embody the qualities, what they value, what they chase after, not every intricate detail of what they do and how they structure their life, no, no. Emulate their values, emulate what they prioritize, how they prioritize. You can emulate how they carry themselves, or just what they're after, right? So when we're choosing role models and comparing ourselves to others. You don't know somebody's story. You don't know what they do behind scenes or how they live their life, or you don't know what they did to get to the point that they are. You don't know their story. They could have had a really rough go. Are you willing to go through that in order to get to where they are? It's hard to say, and it's hard to judge and just say somebody has it all when you don't know how hard they work for it. 
or what they had to go through in order to get there. So choose your role models carefully. Be conscious of why you're choosing them and then emulate the values and put that to yourself and your gifts and what you're willing to do. This is where you find success and happiness because that's what we're all after, right? So that was important for me to share. I think uh, this message will touch a lot of people because I know that this is something that I've dealt with myself in the past and I know a lot of people do. So in 2021, let's, let's make sure that we're emulating the right people, that we're following the right people for the right reasons and then create your life based on values and virtues, not X's and O's. I hope you have a great week. As always, share the video if it brought you value or tag somebody in the comments. I love sharing value. And uh, if you have anything that you would like me to discuss, shoot it in the comments or shoot me a message and I will absolutely bring it up. Okay, have a great day.